Good morning. It's another beautiful morning out there. Out here, I should say. Not such a beautiful morning in there today. I'll get on to that in a minute. I want to talk about really is gratitude because I nearly didn't make it through the night. Got up. I was quite cross, quite depressed, quite fed up, quite traumatised, it would be true to say. And uh, what got me through it last night, the little nugget, the little thing that got me back on the straight and narrow, as you might say. Bringing it back to just a bit of a crappy night rather than the last night was you folks. So thank you. A little thought in my head that I've got to, I've got to get up in the morning. I've got to get on that bike. I've got to come out here. I'm at Love Lane again, by the way. And I've got to talk to you, lovely folk. Because I've been getting a nice bit of feedback, you know. Other people that don't like to say sufferers, but I'm not very good with the old linguage. So I'll say it in the hope I don't offend anybody. Other sufferers, other people that have mental health issues. We're not well. And so thank you. Thank you. I am not alone. There's loads of us out there, and it's not just feeling a bit glum, we know what we've got, so thank you. And that one little nugget, that one little mustard seed, led me on to the next little fall. When I woke up this morning I was carrying on with a gratitude theme, being grateful. I'm grateful for the air in my lungs. I'm certainly grateful for this beautiful flora and fauna that surrounds me. And almost as if God or the universe or something was listening to me. Got on that bike, I've seen more living things on that bike ride down here than I've seen since I started. All sorts of birds. Loads and loads of rabbits. Four different groups of rabbits. Pigeons. I had three pigeon races this morning. I haven't heard my geese yet. Maybe they've patched up. Maybe they're not arguing like they were yesterday, eh? So, I'm grateful for all of that. I am grateful for the members of my family that still talk to me. I'm grateful for the connections I've made with the other people that I now call family, you know who you are. I'm very grateful. And that gratitude, it ain't done it yet, but it will, through the day. That will settle in my soul, that will. We've got to do a weekly shop today. Got to get supplies. So I've got to run the gauntlet of that, so. One good thing about being disabled, eh? I'll get to go in early with the disabled folk. So, I shall have my shorts on, make sure they can see. I've got a false leg. I don't know how to say false leg, a prosthetic false leg. Of course, it ain't false, it's bloody real. <laughs> But they are. Bird song about us. A bit cloudy this morning, it ain't all that ain't all that bright. Had some rain in the night. Got plenty of clouds now. But it looks like it might brighten up. Around this bit of Derbyshire anyway. We'll see. Whatever comes comes. I'll be grateful for it and all, because the garden needs a bit of a drink, doesn't it? Eh? Right, having all these nice hot dry days, well it aches, I can't ride my bike, but it's one thing to have nice hot dry days, but the gardens do suffer, and I don't like to see plants getting all wilted and 
downcast. So, yeah, I'll be faithful for a bit of rain. Keep the garden wet. What else? What else? I'm grateful and thankful for my wife, obviously. She started watching these as well with me now. Love you, G. Gratitude. I just want to go away from me. And the fault, my fault is going to settle in my head today is I'm going to think of two or three people that I need to say thank you to. And I'm going to say it to them. I might come across as a madman, but everybody that knows me thinks I'm a madman anyway. So that's no disadvantage now, is it? And I'd be double grateful if I could see one of them train things rattling by. That'd sort of make me morning. Bit of icing on the cake, but it is bank holiday Monday. Which means it's Sunday service over here. And lockdown, of course, that's reduced everything down, hasn't it? Minimum of everything. I think that's me done. I think I've said what I want to say. I feel brighter now than I did five, what was six and a half, six and a half minutes ago when I've done this, started this. So yeah, thank you to each and every one of you who helped me get through the day on the old Facebook. Thank you for your kind responses. Thanks for checking in. And I hope each and every one of you have a better day. Love you all. Stay safe. Ta-da.